Getting a nuke back in the day meant a lot. You was the king around your friends. I remember back in the day where you could actually write in the bio on the Xbox 360. You could do it on Xbox One now too, but you was writing how many nukes you got in Modern Warfare 2. Moabs in Modern Warfare 3. I don't know if people was doing it in Ghost with the Kim Strike. I don't know if people was doing it with the DNA bombs and Advanced Warfare and etc. But I remember back in the day when we first got our nuke. We would be so happy. We would tell all our friends. We will write it on social media. And then sometimes you become this GOAT. And then you start getting them more frequently. Five times a day. Ten times a day. If you're a real guru, you'll get 20 of them a day. And not to mention that when you did do it, if you had a YouTube back then, you would upload it. And you will brag about it. Anybody that got a nuke back in the day had bragging rights. You know, the, fr the family I was around and friends, when we got a nuke, we bragged. And if you never got one, you was trash. Now, my nuke days, I started falling off around Ghost. You know, even though the Kim Strike wasn't really a nuke, it was kind of sort of one. You know, it killed everybody in the lobby. You know, and people was getting them frequently besides me. So that's when I started declining in Call of Duty. I couldn't really hold a kill streak. I was garbage and I didn't feel bad as much because I used to do it in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Now since we're moving on in the years of Call of Duty, we haven't really had one until 2016. Infinite Warfare, we had a deatomizer strike, killed everybody in the game. It was dope. I love the sound of it. And it made you feel good. You felt you felt empowered. And then we got World War 2. We had a secret kill streak, which was the V2 rocket that nobody knew of. But when the first person got it, everybody was like, it's a it's a kill streak, but it doesn't end the game. So it was a great addition. But now we're back to Infinity War. 2019, big year. Modern Warfare 4, Call of Duty Ghost 2. But are we gonna get that kill streak that we want? Are we gonna get the nuke? The big bad boss that everybody was trying to get. They camp for. They noob tube four, it's out around corners and stuff. Same thing with the Moab. But with the Moab, when you had the specialist in Modern Warfare 3, it made you a god. So when you was moving around, you'll move faster than anybody that you was playing against. So specialist was kinda kind of a counter, but but it, it was good because you could use it and it will be the best trade-off from kill streaks. So I just think specialists need to make a return heavily. And I think a nuke needs to make a return. But some people may say, oh man, but nukes, they promote camping. People want to camp around the map. They don't want to play the objective. Those are only certain type of people that will do that. Some people that are really good at the game will be running around the map and getting their kills, knowing the spawns and having the right stuff on for their guns. So they won't have no consistency problems when they go in for the kill streak. But we have score streaks. So how could that work? You know, we're. We're in the score streak era. We had the score streaks for a very, very long time. And how would that implement the nuke? You know, how much points will the nuke be? And I don't know. I, I don't know the question. I don't even know if the nuke is going to be in the next Call of Duty game. But I would love it to be. If it was a score streak, it could be worth probably, what, 3,500 points? I don't know. Or it could just be on your gun, just like in Infinite Warfare, where if you get a 30 gun streak without any kills from anything else, you will get your deatomizer, which is in the result of a nuke. But what do you guys think? Do you want this kill streak in the game? I made a video about this before, it was like eight, nine months ago. So it's uh, some type of refresh video. But we didn't get one in Black Ops 4. We didn't get too many kill streaks in Black Ops 4, which I. I'm still mad about man. I thought Black Ops 4 was gonna come with it, load the kill streaks, boom, destruction. But it didn't happen that way. So with with Modern Warfare 4 and Ghost 2 and possible Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 remastered, could we just leave those nukes in those games and people will be happy with that? Or do you want something new? You gotta let me know in the comment section because I think a game in the kill streak needs to be in every Call of Duty. That's what makes Call of Duty is the kill streak. So let me know in the comment section below 
if you think the nuke should come back or if we do get model fit 2 and model fit 3 remastered it should just stay in those games and we should have something different for model fit 4 or cod ghost 2 or whatever it may be but other than that man this is your boy gonna two times bring you another video please like and subscribe and comment your ideas below and i'm out man peace